Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we're looking at Open Garden today. Now this is an app that I've always wanted to uh, try, but never had a chance, and finally I did, so I figured I'd tell you about it. Um, if you're not familiar with Open Garden, it creates an open mesh network between several devices via Bluetooth. Um, it kind of creates a uh, like a, a kind of closed-in VPN in a sense, and it's uh, really all about pooling data. Now. Uh, you think tethering, I guess, and that's kind of what it is. But in traditional tethering, you would tether this phone to this tablet and uh, or to several tablets or PCs. But with Open Garden, this tablet may be connected to this phone, but it could be also connected to several other phones that, that are nearby, uh, which in a sense pulls the data together and creates a better connection. Eventually, that will result in speed, but uh, until as the app evolves, but right now it doesn't necessarily do that. So you could literally be connected to someone you don't even know in a public environment. Um, so ultimately, the goal for Open Garden is for everybody to have it installed on their phone, everybody in the world, and that would create a network that's available to all, all the time which is similar to what you have on your phone. So you have a 3G, 4G connection on your phone, you don't have to think about it. It's always connected all the time. So when you get home, it connects to your Wi-Fi, but when you leave the house, you, you're not thinking about it. It's just there. Now, if you go into a bad area, fine, you're not going to have a connection, but it's not something that you have to think about. You don't have to press a button to connect to your cell towers. It does it all automatically as you drive around. And that's what op the goal for Open Garden is, to take a Wi-Fi only tablet or a laptop computer and to always be connected no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. So I've, let's look at the app. It's open here on the Nexus 7 and right now I'm not connected to the internet on the Nexus 7. We're going to try this. I got a 3G connection here in my basement, um, so maybe a little slow. Uh, the uh, You got an internet connection here. I mean, I don't have an internet connection. Sorry, if I did, I would have a line here to the Nexus 7. So let's open up the um, the DNA. Let's open up the app on the DNA. And right away, it connects. And what we're really saying here in this chart is the Nexus 7 is connected to the DNA and has that's how it's getting access to the internet. If the Nexus 7 was connected to the internet by Wi-Fi right now, I'd have a line here. I'll show you that in a bit. So right now, I can do all the web browsing. The data will, will come across here. So if I go in here, and, um, well, let's just go to Google right now, simply. And the page loads. Like I said, this might, that's not too bad. Of course, that's not an intense page right now, but we might, I, I'm going to experience a little bit of slowness here uh, because I'm in my basement, don't have the greatest connection. Uh, but actually, that loaded pretty good right there. So you can see I can uh, browse and do what I want. Um, I, you, you'll be able to get emails and Twitter, but there are certain things you might not be able to do. For example, in the Play Store, you can you can actually go ahead and browse apps, but you won't be able to update or, or um, install any. I also found uh, Dropbox worked well, uh, but for example, I couldn't upload any images. I could look at some uh, my pictures that I have, and they load nicely. But I wasn't able to, I took a screenshot and I wanted to upload it and I couldn't. Now, let's just say, for example, I get home and my Wi-Fi, I'm now connected. Uh, go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi. Open Garden will now show that. It showed, showed it right there. And there's, of course, the data I was telling you about um, that went across a little bit, the data I was using. So now I'm actually connected. Now the goal here is to leave this always on. Uh, so now I'm home, and I've, I'm going to be grabbing from the Wi-Fi. But when I leave, it'll be, have the connection will already be there. You don't have to think about it. That's exactly what I was explaining earlier. That is, uh, now, that brings you to question for battery and data usage. Battery could be an issue, and everybody's different, and everybody's phone is different, so that's something for you to look at. There is no way to really exit the app. You can go in here, and um, uh, it's a lot of times, well, right now there isn't for whatever reason, but uh, there, oh, it's because I'm on Wi-Fi. But when I'm on for just the DNA, there'll be a little, um, without the Wi-Fi, there'll be a notification that I can disconnect. But the app would still run, uh, and that could still result in battery issues. 
the only way to really close the app is to force close it. You could also turn off Bluetooth, um, but the, the app will still run. Ultimately, you want to use it the way they intended it, to, to have that always constant connection, especially if you're on the go, and especially because we want to pull data together for everybody. But, yes, you can force close it if and use it when you need to. That is an option, uh, you know, so I have to explain that, but uh, just letting you know. Now, data could be an issue as well. You could uh, run into problems with data if you are um, on, a, on a program that you don't have a lot of data. Uh, obviously, if everyone's pooling together data, it won't be that much, but that's, again, something you'll have to look at based on your own circumstance. Now, I would just try to pull in here another phone. And you can see I pulled in this Droid Razor here, and uh, you have a connection now between all the devices. And that's really what it's about. So there could be several devices here, and uh, that's how it works. Um, it works very well. Um, it's not perfect, like I mentioned. Uh, you're you're going to have some issues here and there uh, as far as you know certain apps not working. But overall, it works very well, and you don't have to root your phone. I know a lot of people don't root their phones. And uh, you don't have to start up a mobile hotspot or subscribe to Tethering. This works free. The app is totally free. There's no hidden charges. There's no nothing. It just pretty much works. So I encourage you to give it a shot and start the revolution of creating data for everybody because that's really what it's about, pooling together data. I mean, it's, it's a dream for all of us to be able to just be anywhere and be always connected. But unfortunately, with devices such as these, it isn't always the case, and um, that's what you really want. And uh, Open Carden is on the path to give it, giving us that. So give it a shot. Like I said, it's absolutely free in the Play Store right now. And uh, let us know what you think. So thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.